Are you guys ready to get some new drugstore makeup? Because my God, I need some. I've seen so much new drugstore makeup come out and I haven't done a PR unboxing in a long time. So I'm gonna do one next week because I'm sure there's no drugstore makeup up in there. But I wanted to go to the store. I wanted to stop by Target and see what's new in drugstore makeup. So what we're gonna do for today's video is we're gonna head over to Target. We're gonna go on a full revamp Laura Lee's makeup kit with drugstore makeup. I got rid of a lot of stuff in my makeup clean out. If you didn't see that video, check it out it's on my channel but i got rid of a lot of drugstore makeup so i want to revamp my collection with the stuff that's new and not expired you know what i mean we're gonna go to target drugstore shopping spray and then i'm gonna come home and i'm gonna try everything out and we're gonna see what we think about this drugstore makeup is it good is it bad is it ugly we don't know so come with me let's go to target and subscribe before you leave we're here the place that makes me spend all my money on things that i don't need Let's go shopping. All right, guys, starting off, I see this sponge from NYX. It's a plumping infused sponge for $9. And then they have the spray or the primer, so I got both. And then I love the Bear With Me line from NYX, so it looks like they came out with a new concealer I will be trying out. They don't have my shade Vanilla, but I grabbed Light and Beige to hopefully mix together. And then we're gonna see what else. It looks like we get a little setting spray for $9.50. I'm gonna grab one of these as well. Okay, we have a whole elf section over here. We have the putty primers as well as the new blushes, which I grabbed. The concealer, this is not new. And then I grabbed one of these primers. That's not a setting mist. And I grabbed a couple other things from elf. Lots and lots of elf stuff. From Maybelline, it looks like we got a new Super Stay concealer. I'm gonna try as well as this new brow pencil. Miss Hadid is here. We're gonna try this out. Brow lipstick. 11 19 can't wait to try it and then i also picked up this i don't really know what it is but we're gonna investigate instant perfector four in one makeup mask so i picked up one of these i came to this target because obviously the makeup section is huge so lots of options here and my god look at all the goodies we're getting we are replacing the collection i found this wet and wild new eyeshadow palette here they are they have like new colors so i got these two right here they look really pretty and then these glosses look so pretty they kind of remind me of like euphoria because they have like sparkle to them so i got a couple of these and yeah we're gonna see what else this is a little physician's formula over here a little wet and wild okay the problem is i'm finding more makeup than i can try out i just found this palette it's 21 dollars, but we'll see if it's any good and then these blushes from pacifica they're quite everything's kind of pricey nowadays but look how cool that looks it's so pretty it's called fluffy blush and they have all these colors so i went with this one i'm gonna try this out yeah it looks really cool all right we're back from target I'm way too much, I need to stop. I spent a lot of money on drugstore makeup. It's really gone up in price, but I will say Target has like expanded its options there where they're like connected with Ulta. So there's, they're actually selling like high-end stuff there. But I don't know, even some of the else stuff was like kind of pricey. But I'm gonna show you what I got really quick and then I'll actually try it out. First, I got the Kristen S Workable Hairspray. I just wanted to try it. I tried some of their other products and they were really good. So I thought, why don't we just try it now? It doesn't smell too bad. Hairspray always has a little bit of funk to it. Oh, it feels workable. Oh, yeah, I like the scent. Super light, okay, that's cool. Then I got the Putty Blush from e.l.f. This is the Tattoo Studio Brow Lipstick. It looked interesting, they didn't have a lot left, but I was able to snack my color. These are some of my favorite face razors from Revlon, so I just grabbed those. I picked up the Stay All Day Blue Light Micro Setting Spray from e.l.f. This one I've seen a couple people talk about, so I wanted to give it a go. And of course, the Power Grip Primer. This one has been going quite viral. I've I've seen so many people talk about that, so I had to get it. I don't know why I bought two setting sprays, but I did. This is the Plump Finish by NYX. Had to grab it. Then I talked about this in the store a little bit, but they had the Bear With Me concealer. They did not have my shade. All the girls took my shade. It's okay, because you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna mix them together. They were also all opened and like smudged a little where you can tell people were testing the color, so. Oh well. I got another Tattoo Studio, so I got soft brown and deep brown, because I wasn't sure. I'm probably deep brown, but sometimes soft brown is, it, it can work for me, I don't know. I bought the Soap Brow in Clear from e.l.f. Now this I'm not, I don't have a lot of faith in, because I, I'm so gun ho on my brow freeze. Oh, my chest is red. I just hugged all over my cat 
and I'm like slightly allergic. We're not gonna get into it today, but you know, I love my babies, I can't help it. Anyway, so we'll see if it like can hold these brows because my brows, if you can see right here, they kind of grow downward, so it's difficult. Really excited about this, the fluffy blush from Pacifica. Really cute. I picked up an eyeshadow palette by Well People. Never heard of this brand, never seen her until today. So I bought it, but it was like 21 bucks. So more on the higher end, kinda. Acne Fighting Primer Putty. They now have all kinds of primer putty. Elf is really coming through with the putty. Then I picked up two eyeshadow palettes from Wet n Wild. They looked beautiful. They looked like little Natasha Denona dupes for $3.50. So I grabbed two. The colors I grabbed are in Sundays and Pellet, like a petal palette. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Then I don't even know exactly what this is. It says whipped makeup, primer, powder, concealer, BB cream, all in one, four in one. That sounds a little gimmicky to me, but I'm here to try it out. I grabbed it in the shade medium because they had medium or medium light. They barely had any shades in this, which was also something that was very interesting. I grabbed another color of the NYX. So they didn't have my color. So I just grabbed beige and light and I'm hoping to make some magic happen. Then I got bobby pins because they're everywhere and I don't know where they're at at the same time. This also seems like a gimmick, but I went ahead and got it out. The old school silicone blender i don't know why they're coming out with this now whenever in like 2016 maybe even 17 these got cool and then they kind of went out and now nyx is like silicone blender i don't know so i bought it um next <laughs> i picked up the nyx filler instant just a really pretty lippy um then i got two lip glosses from went wild and lastly i got a lip stain from elf there's something else in here oh maybelline super stay 30 hour wear concealer we're gonna try it today i'm gonna do the nyx on one eye maybelline on the other eye also marley los angeles i'm gonna be using my liquid lipsticks today and i'm using them because we just dropped three new shades of liquid lipsticks oh my god and they're all nudes they're all so pretty i'll swatch them now but if you hang tight towards the end of the video i will show you them on my lips and they are so gorgeous and i'll show you how i wear them the packaging is just impeccable it's nude and i'm trying to show you it has a really pretty shiny writing on it in cursive so the first shade we have is spicy pink it is a warm toned nude pink almost has like a i don't want to say coral because it's barely but it's just like a salmon warm pink salmon salmon then we have old rose this one's a little deeper a little mauvier kind of like a brown pink nude then we have blushing this is our lightest nude shade it's so beautiful easy to wear baby pink i love it i wear all of these with a brown lip liner that's just how i wear nudes and i'll show you how i do that i think that's how they look best but all three of these colors are beautiful i'm notorious for mixing old rose and blushing together and then i do because gloss is in right now i typically hit them with a little bit of gloss but they're very comfortable they have a long wear to them them, and you can get all three for 32 or 16 individually. We had a Valentine's bundle, but it's sold out. I'll see if I can get it back in stock, but I'll have everything linked down below. Be sure to check these. I got hair in my mouth. Be sure and check them out, man. Be sure and check them out. And we'll go ahead and jump right into trying out all this makeup. All right, guys, we're gonna jump in while Tyler is wetting our beauty blender. We're gonna start with our e.l.f. primer. So what I'm gonna do is do half my face with the e.l.f. primer and then the other half with the putty. Ooh, it's like super gel. Kind of feels gel. It feels like like a thick aloe gel, which I don't know that I'm like obsessed with. Let's see how tacky. <laughs> Stop throwing water. Did you make it? You did good. Yeah, sometimes he thinks it's funny to hand them to me sopping wet, like water pouring out. <laughs> it's not funny. Ooh, y'all, this is so tacky. Next, we're gonna do the acne fighting putty primer. I don't have any breakouts right now. I have some that are like perhaps getting better, but none specifically. So I'm just gonna rub in it. It kind of just feels like the other putty primers. I don't have the box because I just threw it away, but I'm sure it has a salicylic acid or acne fighting ingredient, but it feels just like the other one. Okay, this is the product that I'm a little confused exactly what it is. It says it's four in one. It says it's all these things, but there were only like five shades in it. So I'm like, what is it? So we're just gonna open it up and try it. <gasps> Oh, this color is not my color. It's so whipped. It looks like a little dookie on there, like, honestly. So I'm going to take my sponge. What is this? Oh my God. I see why there's four shades, because this is literally like, just like a BB. 
like maybe even a CC cream. Like this is a tint. This is adding tint onto my skin. I thought it was like a foundation, but then I didn't understand why there wasn't any shades. So now I'm seeing what this is. I'll be honest, this added a lot of tint to my skin. My face, as you saw before, is a good bit lighter than the rest of my body because I wear a lot of sunscreen on my face. This is weird, but I'm, I kind of like it for like, if I'm like not gonna wear any makeup that day, just like rub it in a little tint. Like look how tan it makes me. <gasps> cute! I kind of wanted a foundation moment, so I might add on top, but nonetheless, cute! I like it. Instant Age Rewind Whipped Matte Makeup. It is quite matte, so if you wanted to do it up, you could add a little setting spray. Okay, I just had to set my mirror up because I need to see what I was doing. I'm gonna add a little bit of this Armani foundation on top. I mean, it won't focus, but this is what it looks like. But you guys knew we were trying to try that out and we kinda didn't get a foundation from the drugstore, but we got like a whip tint. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of this. But I, what I am gonna try out is this weird, mm, this weird, weird thing from NYX. It said it had like electrolytes in it or something like that. I'll, I'll look on the website what this um, silicone sponge has in it. But so far I hate it. So far I hate this. This feels so not good. Um, I feel like, like I can't get the foundation to blend out. Speaking of Laura Los Angeles, sorry I keep bringing up my own brand if that's annoying, I understand that. But our brush collection's back in stock. The 10 piece brush set, it's now an 11 piece brush set because you get the Kabuki too. We don't have a ton left already, the bundle's selling out, but you can get the 11 brushes plus the makeup bag for 52 on our website. I feel much better after I used a brush with this. I remember back in the day when these were popular, it's just like, it feels like the makeup is just moving around and won't ever get settled in in a weird way. Next up though, we'll move right along. I'm gonna try the NYX Bear With Me Serum Concealer on one eye and the other eye, I'm gonna try out the Maybelline Super Stay. And this one, the Maybelline one, I got this one in the shade 15 and then the NYX ones I got in light and beige. So I'm probably gonna have to mix these together, but I'll start with light. Okay, light is like way too light. So we're now gonna add a little bit of beige and we're just gonna kind of mix them on my face nonetheless. Wow, she's gonna be a really glowy girl. I'm kind of surprised in how much coverage this has because the Bear With Me collection is pretty thin products. Next, I'm gonna try this Maybelline one out. Ooh, it has this little, little dope applicator. I really like it. It does feel kind of like a thin product. A little out here build up a little here. And I'm gonna use the other side of my sponge to blend it so we don't mix. See, this one is like not quite as much coverage. I feel like I may have used more of the other concealer though. All right, so there is the difference. I think I did use just a little more because I was mixing colors over here. And then this one is, it just, honestly though, this one is such a thicker consistency and it feels like it has more coverage than the other one. The other one's super, super liquidy, the Maybelline one. I can tell a difference blending them out. I am gonna add another layer of the Maybelline because I just want my makeup to be even for the day. And that way I don't have one eye over here looking like like this. Right off the bat, I'm not gonna lie, I like the NYX one better, but let's see here. You know, I like this one too, but I still have a lot of darkness coming through. I feel like this one you might can build up. I just, oh, I didn't even mean to touch myself there. I feel like you just gotta finesse it, but I still feel like I get a little more coverage out of the NYX still. Okay guys, I'm gonna set my face and I'll be right back. Okay, I just kind of realized mistakes were slightly made because I have two cream blushes and I added powder to my face. So I'm gonna try to finesse this situation. First, I'm gonna sweep away all the excess powder and then I'm gonna set my face really good and see if we can't work out these cream blushes. So I'm gonna go in with the Stay All Day Blue Light Micro Setting Setting Spray from NYX. It says, lock down your look with this lightweight makeup setting spray. It absorbs blue light. I have no idea how that happens. You know, things are getting a little crazy at the drugstore. It has a really odd smell to it. I don't know what, how to describe it, but it doesn't smell like a makeup. I think I went in a little heavy with it, but I did that to try to <laughs> like melt down some of the powder. And also I'll tell you, I really love the mister on it. It is so soft and like gentle, like I love that. It's like spicy. <laughs> I swear it keeps on like choking me. Anyways, 
This one is Bloom by Pacifica. It's called Fluffy Blushy. I'm a little intimidated by it because it just looks like gloss and it makes me nervous to put it on my face, but I'm gonna try it out. It still looks really pretty. And then we're gonna try out the e.l.f. one on my other cheek, so we're getting extra products. Good news is it's not like jelly-like. Like it's pretty stiff in there. The cream's pretty thick. So, you know what, this is working out actually with all the powder on my face, like, and by the way, this is so pretty. <laughs> my gosh, this is beautiful. Do you guys see that little flush? This color, they had it in a bunch of colors, but this one specifically is pretty light. This color complements me, but I think the deeper ones would too. I also picked up the Elf Blush. This one is called Bora Bora. We love a little Bora Bora. On camera, it looks pretty hot pink, and in person, it looks even more hot pink. I'm gonna take the other end of my sponge. Ooh, she's pigmented. Miss Mama don't play. This one too is working out well with my powder down. I think it's because I set my face so heavily so it has some moisture to mix in with. So this one is probably, they look kind of similar. <laughs> but uh, I kind of like this one a little more. It has a little bit of a shimmer to it, which makes it look really glowy and beautiful. And then this one is actually a little more like just like pigment, pretty much a flat pigment, I would say. I probably should have grabbed a deeper color of each blush because of my skin tone, but I still think they look really pretty and like glowy. So honestly, yes to both of these, but this one I like a little bit more. This setting spray, I like too, it really felt like it melted my makeup down and I hopefully it has staying power. I'm not sure yet. It does have a little bit of a scent to it. So just a warning there. Next. Alrighty, I adjusted the lighting a little bit, but I'm moving on to my brow product. It's called Soap Brows by e.l.f. and it literally comes right out. I think this is supposed to mimic like a bar of soap. I have extremely stubborn eyebrows, so I'm going to do, I think maybe I should wet it a little bit. All right, I added some water to it because it really wasn't budging. Maybe I added too much water. So I'm taking my spoolie and I'm just scrubbing the top of the product. Okay, I feel like I have a lot on my brush. I'm not sure if I was supposed to wet it. Oh, it's like moving my foundation now. <gasps> no. Okay, I'm gonna get a dry spoolie and try to move my brows around there it actually is like like it's kind of working <laughs> like pretty good actually since I wet it it feels like very tacky however I should have done my foundation last and we're just making all the beauty mistakes today I mean like it worked really well I would actually say like I don't know if you're supposed to wet it but it worked like I did not think this was gonna work I'm kind of surprised totally screwed my foundation so we're gonna do it over here with it way less wet and like with the dry spoolie so I hopefully pick up less foundation I'm just gonna press them down oh my gosh this product is really really good are people talking about this and I don't know about it I mean like my brows are plastered onto my face right now wow okay 10 out of 10 um, I would say just use less water than what I used or do your eyebrows first and either way that will probably work out. I mean my eyebrows, I can feel them. They feel really glued. So now we have a brow product we're going to be trying out. This is the Tattoo Studio Brow Lift Stick. So it comes with like the brush that like brushes your brows up. The brush is like this little bitty. And then on this end, oh heck no. It comes with this huge crayon, which I would never, ever, ever just go straight in and like fill in my brows with such a big crayon. I have to be way more precise. So I'm gonna take a brush and you take some of the product on the brush. This is our brow brush also known as the L29. So this brush is the L29 and I'm just gonna like put some of the product onto the brush. I will say it's like not as pigmented as I need it to be because I actually have like quite a few sparse areas, but I, I will say it's pretty decent. Like it feels like a pomade that's like not that pigment. Um, I think if you don't have as many sparse areas as me, you might actually like this to kind of like run through your brows. I feel a little braver with it because it's not that pigmented, but like I have to place the brow products, especially through here. I see how much I've been filling in and like you can tell a difference for sure, but it's not like that crazy. These are not as pigmented. I don't think they're meant to be because I meant think you're meant to like, like rub them all over your eyebrow. But for me, I like a little more precision. So that would be my only note on this and maybe a little more pigmentation, but not bad. You know what I mean? Okay. This eyebrow, I'm just going to use it as it's meant to be used. And again, it's not bad. It's just like, I can't get these little areas. 
So, okay, next up, we're gonna play with these little eyeshadow palettes. I think I want it since, I mean, Valentine's is right around the corner. I kinda gotta get into this pink. I gotta get into it. So pretty. I'll go in with the matte shade, of course, first, because you know, I'm on a little transition. I want a little transition. Wet Wild eyeshadows typically don't let me down, so I'm pretty excited to play with these, and this is a gorgeous mauve matte color, and it's so pretty for Valentine's, or even like the whole month of February. I think the whole month of February is just like that vibe. Okay, so I have this blended. I'm gonna go ahead and carve out my crease and then we're gonna add some of these shimmers. Okay, now I wanna go in with this middle shimmer pink shade. It looks so pretty. And I'm just pressing this on. I did not add any um, setting spray to this to dampen it. And I think it's pretty pigmented. It's a little bit sheer, but it's so pretty on the eyes. I'm gonna sweep away that excess fallout. I will say it has a lot of sparkle in it. So again, you might just wanna do your foundation last, unlike me. <laughs> now I wanna go into the purple shade. I'm gonna take some on my L28 and I'm just going to buff this into the outer corner. And now I'm gonna take the lightest color and pop it into my inner corner. Okay guys, I need a little liner, so I'm gonna pop on a wing and I'll be right back. So to finish the look, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the mauve color on my L30. This is a flat shader brush and I'm just gonna smudge it. And then I'm gonna smudge that pretty purple shade right underneath this. So now going in with the purple, I'm just gonna smudge this. I'm gonna pop some liner in my waterline. I'm gonna add a little mascara. Okay, in honor of today being a drugstore video, I'm gonna add my favorite drugstore lash. These are the 661s by Salon Perfect. They're kind of hard to come by, guys. I can't ever find them anymore, and that upsets me. But it's okay, I've also been wearing Birdie Lashes in Gemini as well, and they're so good. Okay, now I wanna show you my lips, the new liquid lipsticks, yay! If you're still here, thank you for still being here. Okay, so for first, I like to use a brown lip liner. This one is BFF number four from ColourPop, and it's super affordable. So I'll line my lips, or overline, you know, if you know what I mean, a little overline action. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the colors. Oh so here they are. You can probably see them better because I got the lighting down. Pretty packaging. Ooh, yes. Okay, so first we'll do spicy pink. Now this one is the warmest one. Here's the packaging. Love it. So I'll apply this on top of the brown liner. So this color doesn't specifically match our look today because our eyes are actually a little more cooler. But as you can see, this is such a pretty spicy pink color. I love it. It's still nude, but it has a lot of warmth to it. So next I'm going to take this off and I'm going to show you old rose, which is like our brownie mauve nude right here. Same packaging, really pretty. These do dry down mattes. You'll just have to give them like a little bit of time to dry, but once they get there, they don't crack or anything like that. They'll always be movable like this, but as you can see, it gets pretty matte. So I feel like old rose could definitely be like a winner with today's look. It's Mm. This is a good nude. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I also do the brown liner, as you saw, but definitely one of our best nude lip liquid lipsticks. They all have the same dry down. So next we're gonna go into trying blushing. So blushing is our lightest one. They look similar when you hold them up in the packaging, but I'll swatch them all right side by side so you can see, quite frankly, how different they are because they are really different color. So this one's kind of like a peachy nude. So here they are, that's Old Rose. This blushing, blushing still drying in Old Roses. This one is dry down. So get a little bit deeper as they dry. But yeah, I will try on blushing and we'll be back. Okay, so this one is blushing. It is the lightest nude. As you can see, like Old Rose is a little brownie as it's starting to draw down. And this one's a little more peach and then this one has a little more pink to it. So obsessed. It, and this one gets a little deeper as it dries. So on your lips, as you can see, this one's turning a little bit darker on me. So it's not super, super neon peach. It's pretty pink nude. So I'm up. But still, I wanted to try out this lip, this lip gloss from Wet n Wild. It's called Mega Slicks. This one's called Too Too Sweet. 
And I want to try it on. I love putting gloss on top of my liquid lips. Wow, it's pretty thick, guys. Pretty thick, but super pretty. And honestly, once you start rubbing it in, it's not that thick. It's not that thick, so it's very doable. But um, anyways, let's do a quick rundown of all the products. So be sure and check out the liquid lipsticks. They're available on laurelielosangeles.com. You can get three for 32 or 16 each. So let's review all the makeup. Wet n Wild palettes, they are a little bit sheer, but my God, they are so pretty. I really like our eye look. We just had to build it up a little bit, you know? The primer, it felt good. It felt, it did get pretty darn tacky, but it feels really good under my foundation. So I'm into it. Loved the lip glosses from Wet n Wild. The sponge is still a gimmick. It was a gimmick in 2016. It's a gimmick now. Setting spray, I actually got to wear it for a while because I sprayed my face early to work in the blush. I like it a lot. It has a stinky smell, but I like it a lot. It's good. Brow product is probably the product of the day. I'm shook. This is so good. Hello. We need more of that immediately. I wish I would've got to try this bad boy, but it looks really pretty. Blushes, I loved both. I love the Pacifica one just a hair more, but they're both really pretty. And I think they wore in really well. Super, super easy to blend out. Love that. Concealers, I'll be honest. I like the NYX one a little bit better than the Maybelline one, but they were both decent concealers. I'll probably use the NYX one again for sure. Oh, and lastly, I don't know what I did with it. I think here it is. I really like this product. It isn't what I thought it was, but I really didn't know what it was. So I'm okay with it. And I'll, I can definitely see myself using this again, especially on a day where I'm just like running errands and want just like a little bit of tint, but nothing crazy. Perfect for that. So overall, I think we had a ton of wins in this video drugstore has really stepped it up big time i found so many products i'll probably use tons more so thank you for being here and watching be sure and smash that subscribe button before you leave and i'll see you in my next video